Hello YouTube. This video is gonna be a quick one. I don't talk too much. I don't like to be consuming a lot of your time. This is my Fusion 180 Smart. This is my transmitter. I'm gonna go through the settings over here for you. And I want you to copy them if you feel like you would want a better flying, in my opinion, a better flying helicopter. Here we go. Curve zero, that's normal mode. That's what I got. Idol up one. Aileron. Elevator. Rudder. Idol up two. Aileron. 8525 elevator 8525 rudder 9048 now this doesn't necessarily mean that it feels slower when you actually do the cyclic it's a higher head speed so it will provide a faster response my servo setup it's all at 100 i have the throttle at 105 right here on top but that's just to be able to increase a little bit of head uh, head speed if I wanted to. I don't actually use it. Okay, so my next step is going to be doing the core programming. Can you hold this for me? Aim at the helicopter. Thank you, my boy. All right, now we're going to go to forward programming. mode and I'm gonna start through uh, this menu right here from top uh, to bottom here we go bam swash plate I have agility at 65 dynamic at 65 percent give it a try tell me if you like it normal mode that's my settings right there you can change your flight mode and it'll actually change your banking PIDs. You get different tuning settings for all three. Normal mode, that's what we got. Flight mode, one, that's what we got. Flight mode, two, stunt two, that's what we got. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. I'm just scrolling through this real fast. Tell rotor. On normal, those are my settings. Oh, it disconnected. It likes to do this sometimes. We gotta go back to it. All right, hold mode. Normal mode, those are my settings for the tail rotor. Check them out. Pause if you need to. Here is stunt one. Go ahead and copy those if you need to pause or do whatever you need to do. Stunt two. These are the settings I have for my helicopter. It doesn't mean that it's gonna fly like mine, but this is a start. If you need to increase or decrease by five, go ahead and do so. Uh, safe, I don't use safe, I don't have it enabled. Setup, swash plate, AFR. Here's where we're gonna adjust our pitch. I have collective pitch at 56. I believe stock it's it's 50. So, anyways, that's that. I'll put setup. This is unique to my helicopter, so I'm not even gonna show you. But this is where you go to level the swash plate. All right, so that's it. Those are my settings. There's nothing else to it. Go ahead and give that a try and tell me if you like it. Oh, one important thing I forgot to tell you. The pitch curve. 
This should have been in the, the beginning of the video, but here we go. Forgot to tell you guys this. Pitch curve and throw curve. Hang on to that again. Throttle curve. One. If you set up everything the way I did and that I'm showing you in this video, you're gonna have a great time. This is normal pitch curve. Stunt one. It's just a regular zero to 100 curve. Stunt two. We have it at 5% in the beginning, at 95% on top, removing 5% from each end. This is because it needs to be this way. Otherwise, it would have too much pitch. It needs to be this way because the way I have this helicopter set up on idle up one, you have very low head speed. So we actually use the governor and we fly using the governor. So you would go here and you would follow those directions. So throttle hold on, throttle low, up elevator, left aileron, up elevator, left aileron. Notice on the screen it's going to change to right aileron if I'm doing everything right. And I have to put the battery in the hang on, guys. So you can only do this within the first few seconds after startup. So let's try that again. So hold five seconds to ten seconds. Low throttle is already low. Up elevator, left tailor on. All right, so that's not working. I'm actually glad it's not working, uh, and I'm gonna show you why. The reason why it's not working is because I'm on normal mode and I don't have 100% travel there. So if I actually switch to idle up one, I have 100%. I should be able to. Right aileron on the bottom, it says now. Bam, we're in there. What does that mean? That you can actually adjust the parameters right here. Anyways, let's go. I just want to show you the governor. Governor game. I have it on level three. Level three, and you can change that to whichever level you desire. It comes on level one, quite slow actually for my flying type. Level two and level three. Set up, set it up on level three. This will give you very nice low head speed capabilities. So I'm gonna keep it there. Keep scrolling down, which is up. Up is down. Down is up. We're gonna hit exit with safe. We select that by hitting the right. The system restarts and you are ready to go. You must do all these steps. Very important that you set up the throttle curve, how I, how I have it. Very important to do the throttle points at 105. Very important to do the pitch on idle up one and two how i have it even though you may think that it's weird um, you don't understand everything and you will likely understand when you actually try it and, and, and fly it and then you'll understand why that has been done this way uh, but essentially the pitch curve being weird and starting at five percent and ending at 95 is for the simple fact that on idle up one 
there are there is a way more pitch than on idle up two on idle up one we are running this thing on 4500 head speed if i'm not mistaken and on idle up two is 5100 5000 to 5100 so it's quite a high head speed and so we don't need that much pitch such high head speed compared to the low head speed hope you guys have a great day I hope that didn't bore you too much. Hopefully you guys get to having some fun with the settings and remember it may not fly 100%. You may have to still change a few parameters, but this is a good starting point. You guys have a great day, bye-bye.